In nature, the rains are falling at a very high speed. Sometimes it can go up to 10 meters per second. The raindrops uh, is the most dangerous event for the small animals. Humans is walking and then the, the bowling balls are falling onto the human. That is analogy to the raindrop to the butterfly. So our study is the first study to look at the high speed raindrop interact uh, with a super hydrophobic surface in nature. Super hydrophobic means the it will repel the water by having kind of the two tier structures. One is a micro scale, the rough bumpy structure, and the other is nano scale, the wax structure. So wax is coated on the surface. And the one thing we find that the, as the high speed raindrop impact and the spread on the superhydrophobic surface, they reduce the contact time by shattering into the smaller pieces. So by having the smaller contact time, it's very important to limit the heat transfer so they do not lose a lot of heat from uh, the raindrop impact on the body. And the second thing is the uh, limit the momentum transfer so they don't feel much the impact force on the body by reducing the contact time. Yeah. There's a huge uh, market for this kind of the surfaces. The biggest concern in the commercial uh, product is the durability. But the, in nature, durability is not a big issue because uh, it's a living organism. So they keep producing the wax from their body. Like uh, we produce oil on our skin. So they don't care much about the durability. But if you want to do engineering products based on the inspired by this material, I think durability is the biggest issue.